With parliamentary audit sessions taking place across seven National Assembly standing committees, few, it seems, are safe from scrutiny. Foreign Affairs and Unification Committee lawmakers questioned Foreign Minister Yun byung hye on Wednesday on various diplomatic issues. One issue under examination was whether the Korea-China FTA will be advantageous to Korea, especially the nation's farmers. The trade deal is completed but awaits ratification. Meanwhile, the Legislation and Judiciary Committee audited six legal institutions, including the Supreme Court and the Sentencing Commission. The committee's main issues included the bail release of the former chief of the spy agency and the lenient sentencing of the ruling party chief Kim Musong's son-in-law, who was convicted on drug-related charges.